Because every business is different, QReveal offers a variety of settings to control how the system works. These can be accessed under the Settings option in the navigation for the admin area. The first option is the name of your organization. You also have the option to give a description and a long description. It's also helpful if you click the industry that you're in to help us better understand our users. This is also where you can change what we call phraseology. This just means, this just refers to if we use the word menu or price list to refer to items in the admin area. It doesn't affect what your customers see. There's also a currency symbol. The first option lets you hide the currency symbol altogether for those businesses that prefer to declutter their menus or price lists by not using a currency symbol. You can also click the menu and see all of the current options. If you don't see your currency listed, get in touch with us using the question mark in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and we'll get it set up for you. You can also opt to hide trailing zeros on prices. This will only affect currencies that are whole numbers, such as 1, decimal, 0, 0. In that case, you would only show your customers 1. However, if you have an item that's priced at 1, decimal, 2, 9, the system would still show 1, decimal, 2, 9. You can change the title of the wish list by replacing the default text here. Likewise, you can also change the featured button text and the featured header text as well as add your own custom description for the featured area. There's also the option to update the word limited and help slash order. Under this is also a field that lets you outline your own custom instructions to help out customers when they're ready to order or get a product or service. Depending on what theme you're using, you also have the option to select between these options. You can default to the light theme, meaning it has a white background, you can default to the dark theme, meaning it has a black background. Both of these default options still allow the customer to flip the background if they wish, which can be helpful, especially in low light restaurants or businesses. If you prefer to always make your customers use either the light or dark option, then select either always light or always dark. If your account supports it, you can also select an accent color that's used for headers and buttons throughout the menu or price list interface. Other advanced settings include the option to show a cookie consent banner and customize the text that appears in that as well as a link where you can send your customers for more information about cookies. And you can also integrate with the user way accessibility tool. This does require a separate user way account and the account ID. Finally, there's the option to upload two logos, a favicon, and a device icon. Logo for light theme is the logo that's used against a white background, so typically darker lettering and shapes make more sense here. Take note of the information about the recommended sizing above. The logo for the dark theme is used against a black background, so lighter, high contrast colors such as white work best here. The favicon is the small icon that appears next to the site title in tab. You can upload an image here and we'll use it for the favicon for all of your content. The device icon option is used when a user bookmarks or adds a bookmark to your menu to their mobile device's home screen. These are typically squares and you can learn more about it and the required file formats by clicking the link here. Once you've gone through the basic setup steps, you'll start to see this dashboard that's designed to give you some quick access to the features you'll want to use most. Under here, you can see all of the menus you've created. You can click this icon to preview the menu or this icon to manage it. There's also quick links to billing settings, menu settings, how to create QR codes, and our support section.